Greetings my lovelies, hi it's Emmy, welcome back to another taste test. Today I'm going to be tasting natto and pudding. So I found this strange combination on Rocket News and apparently it's become kind of viral and since I read about it I knew I had to taste it. And it combines natto, which are fermented soybeans, and custard pudding or pudding. So if you've never heard of natto before, here's a little background. It comes this little styrofoam container. Inside, there's a sauce packet and a mustard packet and some soybeans that have been inoculated with a special little bacterium that causes this really stringy thing to happen. And for some, it's a bit of an acquired taste, not only for the texture, but also for its smell. I happen to love natto and its smell. It smells a little bit nutty, a little bit like coffee, and a little bit stinky. I actually did a video a few years ago all about natto, and if you're interested, I'll put the link up here. Don't add the condiment packets, we'll set those aside. You're supposed to take the natto beans, whoa, and dump them out onto a plate. Natto, like a lot of fermented foods, is really, really good for you. It's high in vitamin K. And then next, you're supposed to add some custard pudding. Now, this is the only custard pudding that I could find in my area. In Japan, they come in a three-pack. They're ubiquitous. You see them everywhere. You find them in a three-pack, kind of like how you would find instant jello. And they have a little bit of a flower shape to them. This one is not as cute, and it's very similar to flan. It's an egg custard on the bottom, and it has a sweet caramel on top. And I wish I could have found the Glico ones, the ones that you can find in Japan, because they have a nice little vacuum seal that you snap, and then the whole pudding just kind of slides out beautifully. Sadly, I wasn't able to find them in my area, but at least I found this. And see if I can coax this out. There we go. <laughs> that is not very attractive. So here is my natto and custard <laughs> sitting happily in my dish. Next, you're supposed to take a spoon and mix this all together. It smells like caramel natto. Doesn't smell too bad. It's very mucilaginous. See that? This mucilaginous, slimy texture is very popular in Japan. You see it in things like okra or in yamaimo, which is a mountain potato, which you grate and you get this beautiful whipped kind of slimy texture. And then natto. Look at that. Mm. That's pretty tasty actually. The first thing you taste is the sweetness from the custard. It's a little bit eggy and nice and caramelized and vanilla. And then as you chew it along, you taste the distinct flavor of natto and the texture of the beans, which are a little bit squishy and bean-like, but a little bit bitter almost a little bit like coffee and cheesy. So it actually goes really well with the custard. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit difficult to eat neatly because it leaves kind of slime everywhere, but it's delicious. I'm actually not a huge fan of custard pudding in general, but in this form, it's a lot better. I feel like it's not as sweet because you've got the natto beans in there and you've got that slight little bitterness that comes with the natto beans that really kind of works well with the custard. I think texturally though, some people might have a hard time with this. It's very thick and gooey and slimy and sticky. So that was custard pudding and natto beans. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had natto before and if so, what your favorite application of it is. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends and follow me on social media. And I shall see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.